Welcome to this video presentation that is going to talk to you about designing tables in Microsoft Word 2013, but the process is extremely similar in Microsoft Word 2010. Today we're going to talk about changing table styles, changing table colors, and changing table borders. Using one of the preset table styles is a fun way to change the look and design of your table. So with your cursor positioned anywhere within your table, go to the table styles box under the design tab. You can click the arrow button to expand your options and hover your mouse over the various table styles. You'll see your table change. Now, when you find one that you like, simply click on it and you have a new table style. You can go back and change it as many times as you like until they find one that you're happy with. Using color is a great way to change the look of your table. So to change the color, simply click inside a cell and go up to the shading button, which is under the layout tab. Select whichever color you like, and the cell will change color. Now you can go cell by cell and change each cell to a different color if you'd like, depending on the look you'd like for your table. Now this function just changes the cells, but if you want to change the color of the whole table, go to the top left hand corner of the table and click on the plus sign. This will select the whole table. And you can now go back and click on that shading button and select any color you'd like and the whole table will change color. Now we're going to talk about changing the borders on your table. Now borders are a great way to enhance your table or highlight certain elements of your table. So you can change the border style within the cell or the whole table. First I'm going to show you how to do it within a single cell. Click anywhere within the cell, click on border styles and select which border style you'd like. Let's go with the double line black. Now go over to the borders button and you can select where you'd like the border in the cell. Let's give this one a bottom border to highlight the information in the cell. Now to change the border in the whole table, click on that plus sign at the top left hand corner of the table to select the whole table again. And you're going to do the same thing. Go over to border styles and select a border that you'd like. Now go over to borders and select where you'd like the border. We'll, we're going to select whole table to change the border of the whole table. And you can see the look of the table has changed. Now the last border style I'm going to show you is the no border option. So to have no border on your table, select your table, head over to borders and select no border. Now as you can see there are no lines on your table, but your table is still there. And this can be great if you want to organize information into lists or columns. Now there are too many design options to list when it comes to designing your tables in Microsoft Word, but I encourage you to get in there and play around. You can always undo what you've done and go back to your original table. Thanks for watching and hope this helps.